Hello everyone, welcome to PhotoPlay's YouTube channel and welcome to Tuesdays with Tina. Today I have a fun project to share with you. We're using the Fall Gnomes die set. This is from the Stamp with Stamps collection and we're also going to be using a, a greeting from the Inside Out Thank You stamp set. We're going to jump in and start by doing a little bit of die cutting. I thought we'd create a cute little scene today. I picked out different colors of cardstock. We're just going to make one gnome today and I thought we'd make several little pumpkins to go with it. So I have three different colors of orange cardstock and we're going to take our pumpkin. It's nice because it's one piece so this is actually a three piece set that will cut out three different sections of your pumpkin. So I'm going to do that three times and then to create my gnome's beard I'm going to use white cardstock. This is the gnome's shirt and arms. For this I'm going to use a light blue or a pale blue cardstock. For the gnome's bridges I'm going to die cut out. This piece actually will cut out with darker blue cardstock. Okay, but the the shoes of my gnomes is here too. So I'm going to die cut it out once more with black cardstock. And then so this one here will die cut out twice. And then we have our pilgrim hat. We're going to die cut that out with two different shades of brown cardstock. And, I, and I'll do it with white cardstock also. So because I want a white buckle. So we'll die cut this out three times. Then lastly, I have some um, pale peach colored cardstock. We're going to die cut out the gnome's nose and hands. There's two different sets of hands in here, but we'll die cut that out with this. Oh, and I forgot. We all have, we have the pumpkin stem that we're going to die cut out three times with the brown cardstock. I'm going to run everything through my die cut machine and then I will be right back. Once we have everything die cut out, we're going to start by creating our pumpkins. To create them, when you die cut out three sets, it makes it really easy because you have three different pumpkins in the end. So I'll start by adding a little glue to the middle here. Next, I'm going to take my middle color and I'll add it to the dark one. Basically, you're just centering it. And then we'll add this one to this pumpkin. And then we'll add this one to this one. And then I just add a little glue to the center. And then next we can add our final circle, making sure that each one of these have three different colors. And that's all there is to it. Three fun little pumpkins. Now we'll go ahead and add a dot of glue at the very top. And then we can add the trunk of our pumpkin or the stem of our pumpkin. And our pumpkins are done. It was pretty easy. Um, I do want to mention while I was die cutting, I die cut out two little hearts. I just went through my stash and found two little dies that I could add because I want to add a heart to the pumpkin that my gnome is holding. I didn't know what size to you. So I cut out two with red cardstock. We're going to be using the greeting that says sending you heartfelt thanks. And so I thought putting a little heart on a pumpkin would be really cute. And then also while I was die cutting, I'm using the photo play papers bookmark die set. This I just die cut out two with an orange and a yellow, um, a dark orange or a brown and a yellow. And I did do one of the reinforcements with white cardstock. And then I created a panel with one of my stitched rectangle dies. And while I was at it, I want to create a grassy background. And so using the same die I used that has the stitch detail, I cut out two, pa two extra panels. I wanted my stitching to be continuous on the very bottom. So we have stitch detail, not on the top, but just on the bottom area. Okay, now let's create our gnome's hat. This piece is actually the gnome's belt. So I cut that out with brown cardstock also. Now I kept with the lighter brown, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. I just want to use um, a little bit of that light brown peeking out of the bottom like so. And then I can add this. It just fits right like a glove on the bottom of this hat area here. 
Now I'm going to take this piece here, which is the hat buckle. I'm going to add a little glue. And we're going to attach this to the hat. Once we have that attached, now we can add the little buckle. Add a little glue here, and we'll just attach this right over the center. And our hat's good to go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take my hat, and I'm going to attach it to my gnome. And I think I want a little bit of dimension, so I'm going to add some foam squares behind here. I'll just remove the release paper and we can tack this down here. Okay, now let's work on our gnome's shirt. Let's add some glue behind our belt and we'll tack this down. Next, at the very bottom of this, you have the smaller end on the bottom, we're going to go ahead and add our shoes. And then we can add a little glue at the very top here. And we can add our shirt. And that's all there is to that. Okay, now my gnome is going to be holding a pumpkin. So I'm going to take these hands and this nose. I'm going to flip over my nose. We're going to put a foam square. Let's go ahead and add this. So, so cute. <laughs> okay, and I am going to bring in a pink marker. I like my gnome to have a little bit of rosy cheeks up here at the top. Now, these are the gnome's arms. What we're going to do is go ahead and add a little glue here. And we're going to add our gnome's arm to the hands. I'm going to use this pumpkin here, and I like to add my hands directly to my pumpkin. So I'm going to bring in a foam square, and I'm going to add one here, and then I'll add a foam square here, and then we can just add our hands right over the pumpkin. It looks kind of funny, but when you add it, it just gives all the detail there. I'm going to use some foam squares and add my gnome to the gnome body. Let's just bring in a couple of foam squares here. I'm going to double up on this one because this way everything is nice and even. I put two down here and I doubled up on this one. I'm not going to remove the release paper on this just yet. We're going to tack this down to our gnome shirt. Oops. Then we can go ahead and add our gnome. I'm going to use glue. And then I can go ahead and add my pumpkin right on my gnome's beard. And that's all there is to our little gnome. Okay, I mentioned the little heart. I do want to add one. And then I'm going to add one of these small hearts to that pumpkin. And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add a little color to my gnome's nose. I'm just going to use one of my markers. And we're just going to add a little highlight. Now we're going to put everything together. First off, I have my two pieces of green cardstock. What I'm just going to do is bring in my scissors and I'm going to freehand some heels. For my background here. Just 
a couple different size heels. I think that's going to work out great. I'm going to use my glue. I'm just going to place that in the center and then I'm going to add glue and we're going to layer both of these together. Once these are laid together I can add a little bit more glue behind my reinforcement and we'll just glue this behind. And it's okay if it doesn't line up because I'm going to punch a hole in here anyway. This is good to go. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to attach it to my panel here. I went ahead and tr trimmed what was overhanging and now I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card base. I'm going to add my green heel. And then I'll add my light green. I'm going to remove the release paper off of the foam tape on top and then I'm going to add some glue at the very bottom and we'll tack down our gnome here. I want to put him so his feet are at the very bottom of that grassy area. Now before I add my pumpkins I'm going to stamp my greeting so let's bring in our inside out thank you stamp set. Again we're going to use the greeting that says sending you heartfelt thanks. So I'll just place this in here. I'm going to use my black ink for my greeting. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and trim this down so we have a sentiment strip. Add some tape behind here. Add a couple of pumpkins underneath our greeting. And lastly, I'll take that little extra heart that I have and I'm going to place it right next to my little gnome here. Lastly, I'm going to go over those hearts with a little bit of glaze. Going to give it a little bit of shine. I'm also going to go over the belt beckle. And that will finish off my card project for today. Today we used to say it was Stamps Fall Gnome die set. Also, the Inside Out Thank You stamp set. I thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.